one of the most exciting and challenging motorcycle events in the whole world kicks off this weekend. And we are fortunate enough to be here for it. This is the Isle of Man TT Races. Woo! <laughs> we are Charlotte and Natalie, avid travellers and adventure seekers. Hit subscribe and join us as we travel around Europe in our self-converted camper van. So the TT is back this year after a two year break from the pandemic. So it's gonna be bigger and better than ever. We can't wait. It's uh, two weeks of races, festivities, all kinds of celebrations going on around the island. And we're gonna bring you along for the ride. We cannot wait. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Coming up. So it is the day before the races begin. Tomorrow is the start of practice week. So we are gonna come and check out the grandstand area, which is open today. Everything's gonna be warming up. I'm sure there'll be a few people around having a few drinks. So, so excited. <laughs> yeah, let's go and see what it's all about because the madness will start tomorrow. <laughs> the Isle of Man TT, also known as the Tourist Trophy, has been running since 1907. Thousands of visitors from around the world venture to the island for the event, which provides a vital contribution to the island's economy. So we're at the grandstand of the TT races, and this is the prime position for die-hard motorbike fans. Get up in the stalls up here and get yeah the best view of the riders starting and finishing. They do a whole 37.73 mile loop around the island. Starts here, finishes here, so. Yeah, this is going to be where all of the action happens. Right, so I think these um, screens are the new digital um, race scores. It used to be a chalkboard before, and it, got, it actually got stolen recently. It was all over the paper, but it got, it got recorded. But I'm pretty sure that's what this is. We better check for that. <laughs> Natalie's facts are a little bit questionable sometimes. Reserve that spot. There's VIP tickets for that. We'll be in that then. <laughs> oh, so you, you're going on your knees. Oh my god! Oh my god! Now you look the part. Uh, this is quite heavy. <laughs> so we're in the main arena now and we've just found out that the Trackside Bar is offering a really great meal to sit up in these stands here. 15 pounds, you get a free drink and then you've got this prime position view of the course. As well as all the really cool bike stuff, the grandstand is a great place to hang out for the day. Watch some live music, grab a drink, and enjoy the food on offer. Don't get him. Yeah, gotta get some actual fries, definitely. Oh my god, they sound amazing. Oh my god, the grandstand is absolutely popping off already, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard to leave. <laughs> so much fun but we're going to go and do a little route around the TT mountain course now and we're just going to check out some places where it's possible for us to come and actually sit and watch the races because yeah the island is just mental during the next two weeks now all of the roads are closed and it's going to be pretty tough to navigate our way around so we thought we'd do it today and then yeah hopefully find some cool places to come and watch 
Hello everyone. So it's been a couple of days since we last saw you, but we are heading out tonight to somewhere very, very exciting. It's like the heart and soul of TT and yeah, where are we going, baby? We're going to Bushy's TT Village and it's open at night and one of our favourite bands are playing. So yeah, we are excited. Yeah, we'll tell you more about it when we get there. <laughs> absolutely legendary on the Isle of Man, not only because they produce the local ale, but because of their iconic TT events that they hold every single year. Bushy's TT Village is the perfect place to come and just soak up the vibrant TT atmosphere. It's just there, right behind me in the Villa Marina Gardens. We're gonna go over and check it out. about celebrating all things local. We've got local bands, local food vendors, local retailers, and of course, local beer. <laughs> Let's get your first reaction to a first pint of bushies. Scandalous. <laughs> Whilst trying out the local beer, it was only right to try out the new local food vendor in town, Green Gringo. So goddamn good. What did you go for from the Gringo? From the Gringo, mate. Was that even in Australia? Mm, your accents are questionable. Terrible. <laughs> um, this is just a burrito with all kinds of chicken and rice and beans and chili and. Extra yeah. chilli for you. <laughs> Belly full and slightly tipsy, I followed Natalie as she enjoyed some retail therapy. We love supporting local brands and this was the perfect opportunity to do so. Some of that. <laughs> Look at that. That's you right there. What? A bit gay. <laughs> Bushy's Village is open from 12 until 12 during TT, but it's when the sun goes down that things really start getting wild. Good afternoon everyone. Today is the final day of qualifying week of the TT races and we are in the north of the island in Ramsey, hoping to catch the race later on. There's a little festival here through the day, so just about to go and check that out. I'm riding solo as Natalie's a little bit under the weather and so is Ronnie. He threw up all over my Doc Martens. Yeah, so hopefully they'll join me later. Let's go and see what's going on. Feeling, baby. Better. Do you think you can uh, tear yourself away from the van and go <laughs> and watch a little race? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. What about you, Ron? Think you can handle it? I'm not feeling the energy from your hand. <laughs> can I get an oh yeah? Can I get an oh yeah, Ronnie? Oh, oh that's <laughs> it. <laughs> That's it. Oh, here okay, we go. Here we go. Oh, big stretch. 
Let's do, do it. Do this run? Let's do it. Let's get Should ready. We? Should we go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> this is the first time I've personally actually seen any of the races and what do you think? These boys are crazy. They go so fast. Some of them go up to like 200 miles per hour on some of the long stretches of road, don't they? More than that, isn't it? Is it? I thought it was up to 300. I don't think it's 300. Okay. This is Natalie <laughs> exaggerating again, which she tends to do quite often. <laughs> but yeah, oh boy. <laughs> We're nearly there, babes. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you taking me? Um, it's called the hairpin. It's a really sharp bend, but I've got no idea if we'll see anything. I'm just... Just winging it. Winging it. Oh my god, that is, you want to go out there and have a little look, get that view, because that is insane. <laughs> I am buzzing. Tonight was epic, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah, it has been amazing. But that's us. We're gonna sign off for the night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao. Ugh, oh, mad Sunday, yeses. <laughs> How's the energy today? Very low. <laughs> I'm hanging and I wasn't even drinking. Yeah, I on the other hand was drinking and uh, today is a struggle, I have to admit. However, Mad Sunday is a very, very important day of the TT races. <laughs> it marks the Sunday in between practice week and the actual racing week. So yeah, as you can imagine, everyone just kind of goes mad because there's no races on. So yeah, it's just an opportunity to get drunk really, but I don't think we'll be getting involved with that today. But we're gonna go and watch the Purple Helmets, who are like absolute legends of the TT. I've they? told Charlotte she needs to pull herself together <laughs> to watch Purple Helmets. And then it's their finale show. I don't even know what it's all about. Natalie won't tell me, so we're gonna go and check it out. And yeah, I'm sure it'll be a laugh. You'll see. Let's do it. <laughs> coastal town it's famous for its medieval castle ruins and beautiful beaches but also for its legendary ice cream parlor Davison's. What flavour did you go for Butte? Honeycomb and Malteser. How is it? Incredible. I can always rely on Davison's. <laughs> A 
Apparently we weren't the only ones to come to Peel for the purple helmets. <laughs> How's your view? Fantastic. <laughs> but at least we had our selfie stick. Thinking, but we can give it a go. Some rest. And this pizza is amazing. Just what I needed <laughs> after today. When in and sleep. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the most unmaddest Sunday, really, isn't it? <laughs> Rock and roll. Rock and roll, baby. <laughs> start of race week and we are in Port Erin <laughs> which is a really beautiful part of the island there's a sand beach which you can see behind us and sunsets here quite rare for it to get a sand beach on the island so it's one of our favorite places to come isn't it yeah and today is TT fun day so it is well it actually looks like it's probably more for the kids so if you're coming along with little ones perfect lots of rides lots of stalls obviously kids in the I'm playing in the sand and in the, in the sea. Um, <laughs> we need to go and get an ice cream. Oh, absolutely. Ice cream is needed. And yeah, we'll have a little look around, show you what's about. <laughs> eating the popcorn already <laughs> cannot be trusted for two minutes <laughs> what are we doing we are waiting to see the red arrows show which starts at half seven there's not been any races on today so yeah so excited for this yes let's do it wait <laughs> give me <them>, give me that <laughs> Good 
Good morning. Good morning. So today is senior race day, which is a Manx Bank holiday for everyone. And the final day of TT. Yeah, today is going to be a big day and the sun is shining, so... Energy's high. Yeah. We're going to head to the Cregney Bar pub, which is right on the race course. And yeah, there's races on all day today, so we're going to... Yeah, catch those and take a picnic. Oh yeah, play some games. Lovely. Yeah, yeah, spend the day there and then party later. Yeah, see it out with a bang. <laughs> Not worth <laughs> it. <laughs> Got some picnic bits. Oh yes, went in. Went yeah, in. how exciting! <laughs> The Cregney Bar is an extremely favourable spot to watch the races, so it pays to arrive early to get the best trackside view. We paid six pounds to park the van for the entire day, which turned out to be money well spent. Yeah, this should be good. Yeah, let's do it. Nice, guys. This is Brisha, by the way. This is Natalie's sister. She's had a bit of a rough ride getting here, but she finally made it for final race day. So, we're going to have a good day. <laughs> Excuse me. You can't leave me out here. Bye. This is Brisha's first race. They're gonna come flying past here, Brisha, you ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Charlotte, are you ready? <laughs> laps. How excited are we? <laughs> Good way of bringing the snacks. <laughs> you know when the bikes go around and they were like, I was watching them from the last. I felt a rush, like I was going to cry. They're like every time. been a bit of an incident with the sidecar racing so we're just waiting to hear a bit of an update on that praying that everyone's okay unfortunately it is a bit of a downside of the TT races it is notorious for being one of the most dangerous motor sport races in the world so there's already been a few fatalities already this year which is really really sad and unfortunate and we're just praying that whatever has happened everyone's okay Okay, so there's not been much of an update since the incident with the sidecar racing. So, yeah, still just praying that everyone's okay. But the fact that the course has been closed for this long is not a good sign. So, inevitably, there's been some delays to the senior TT race. And also, the weather's not looking great. So, it's very likely to be cancelled tonight. So, we are just going to get out of here and go party, I think. I'll make the most of the last night of Bushies. Yeah, so let's do it. <laughs> but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame. We own the game. And we ride on the flames till the morning light. Maybe because we're dynamite. Ain't nobody gonna hold us down. Break all the rules, let them run and hide. Maybe because we're dynamite.
Okay, that's it. TT is over. And I am so ready for a rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rest, recuperate and... Prepare for next year. Yes been a blast <laughs> we'll be including a link to our blog in the description where you'll find a full-on tt 2023 guide including where to stay where to camp all the best places to eat drink party all that kind of thing and if you enjoyed this video and our content give us a thumbs up and subscribe see you next time <laughs>